Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. Doing my last what's next of the day. This one is on former WBO heavyweight champion Joseph Parker following his victory over Derek Chisora when they main evented at his own card on May 1st. It was a good, hard-fought battle. Chisora, with the first punch, he landed behind the head of Parker in the first round, 10 seconds in. He put Parker down. Parker weathered that, um, came back and outworked Chisora, uh, used the angles. I thought he outboxed him, but Chisora was coming forward and was doing well at moments, but I felt like he outboxed him and outworked him. It ended up being scored a split decision. It was in the United Kingdom where Chisora is from, so maybe that played a part in it being that close. I don't have a problem with the decision, it being close, but I thought clearly that Parker won, but it wasn't a walk away either. You know, it wasn't a it wasn't a slam dunk. It was a good hard fly heavyweight bout. Parker gets another notch on his belt, you know, and he's moving forward now. So the big question now is what's next for Joseph Parker? Well, prior to the fight, we knew he was possibly in line for fighting for the WBO heavyweight title, but we don't know when that's that could take place. He was the number two or number three contender in the WBO. The the uh, WBO it looks like they're they're gonna order an interim title fight between Alexander Usyk, the number one contender, and Joe Joyce, the undefeated fighter from um, yeah, undefeated Joe Joyce. So, and the winner of that would be in line to fight the winner of the undisputed title fight between Fury and Joshua. But we already know that that's a two-fight contract between Fury and Joshua. They're most likely going to unify all four belts, and they need to be stripped by the WBO or or uh, or up, you know, stripped by the WBO or give up the belt, and and then. The champion, the interim champion, will be upgraded. Would Parker be in line for that? Possibly. But Parker has just showed interest when Michael Hunter pulled out of an IBF world title eliminator with Philip Hergovich. He said he would be interested, possibly interested in taking that final eliminator and, and fighting to become the mandatory number one contender. That would guarantee him a title shot. So, you know, that right there, it just depends. Parker wants to be back in world title contention and that's what he's going for. So let's run through the top 10 real quick, see what's possible for the former heavyweight champion. We start with number one undefeated WBC champ Tyson Fury. Not gonna happen. Fury's lined up for a, an undisputed title fight with Anthony Joshua, two of them. Um, they, they signed it, well, they have a two fight deal in principle. Um, even if he were to be, even if uh, Joshua didn't want to fight in a rematch because Tyson Fury beat his ass the first time, I don't think he'd fight Parker. It doesn't make sense for Fury. There's other bigger names. Anthony Joshua, which would be a rematch. He's number two. He's a unified champ. Again, another one. I don't see it. Even if Joshua beat the shit out of Tyson Fury, would he want to fight Joseph Parker, a guy he already beat and went the distance with him? He didn't look good beating him. I don't think he'd want to give Parker another chance, so I don't see it. Number three, Deontay Wilder. I wouldn't completely rule it out, but I don't see Wilder fighting Parker. I don't know why. I just think... Maybe Parker's style is a little too tricky. I don't know. They haven't lined themselves up to this point, and I don't think Wilder is interested in fighting Parker, so I don't see it. Number four, Andy Ruiz Jr., the former unified champ, which would be a rematch from a 2016 heavyweight title fight that Joseph Parker beat Andy Ruiz in. Now, Parker was in his home country of New Zealand. It was a very close fight. A lot of people thought Andy Ruiz won, um, but Parker walked away the world champion and was the first of only two men to beat Andrew Ruiz. So, you know, that's some street cred. But I don't think Andrew Ruiz wants Joseph Parker in a rematch. I don't think he is interested in revenge, not yet anyways. So I don't see it. Sadly, I don't see it. Number five is Dillian White, a rematch with him too. Parker lost a razor thin 12 round decision to Dillian White just a couple years ago. It was a very close fight and um, you know, he almost knocked out Dillian White in the 12th and final round. Parker would love a rematch. I don't think Dillian White wants anything to do with it. Dillian White has other things lined up, so I don't see it. Number, wait, Parker was number, okay. Dillian White was number five. Number six, Alexander Usyk. Possible. If Usyk beats Joe Joyce, which I think he will if they fight for the interim title, and Parker wants to stay lined up to fight Usyk, because that, that's a bigger fight for him, I think it's possible. I think we're gonna, the time is going to tell whether he does that or not. So I do think that's that could happen. Number uh, number 
number seven is Luis Ortiz. I don't understand why these guys wouldn't get together. They are two avoided fighters at this point. Um, I, I think it's a good fight. I think it's it, they should do it, but I haven't heard anything, so we'll see. Number eight is, um, well, it's Joseph Parker. Number nine is that four-way tie. You got Alexander Povetkin. I don't think it makes sense for Parker after Povetkin got knocked out against White. Why would he take a step back and fight him? Michael Hunter, if he had to fight Michael Hunter, that'd be good, but he's kind of positioning himself for one of two mandatory title fights, and I don't think he needs Michael Hunter, so I don't see that one. Um, the other guy tied is Otto Wallen. Um, you know, he's on the rise. It's a risky fight for Parker, though. I don't think he needs it, so I don't I don't see it. And then finally, um, the, the final heavyweight in that four-way tie is a rematch with Derek Chisora, and I don't see him giving Chisora a rematch. I think he's, he thinks he soundly won that fight. So that's my opinion. That's Joseph Parker. I really think either he's going to fight the winner of Usyk and Joe Joyce for the WBO title, or I think he's going to line himself up and fight Philip Hergovich for the uh, you know, IVF final eliminator. Um, he wants a title shot. So I think he's going to see which is the simpler way to get a title fight and then he's going to go for it. So we'll see. But that's it. That's what's next on Joseph Parker, the former heavyweight champion of the world. Hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been here with the truth.